Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm a homeschooling mom to two. I have a little girl in third grade and one who is four years old in pre-K. Um, this channel is where I do curriculum reviews and just videos of our life and some beauty subscription unboxing. I would love for you to hit the subscribe button or give a thumbs up so that you can see more of our videos and it really helps out the um, smaller YouTubers who are just getting started. I am so excited today to show you the new Tinker Active Science Pre-K book. Uh, this just came out. I actually pre-ordered it and was so excited. I have the Tinker Active Kindergarten for my four-year-old. We love their science books and so I was so excited that they have another age-appropriate one for her. I'm going to do a complete flip flip I'm going to do a complete flip through for you guys and you can purchase it on Amazon or probably most bookstores near you. Excited to show this to you. And I also want to say it's got workbook pages. They're like real paper. They're thick. And then the back is like a board book. So these don't get smushed around and torn up as easily as some of the other workbooks that we use. And this is more than just a workbook. You'll see. So basically, each lesson in it has a tinker where they try new things, make, they discover new skills, and then they engineer something. The first lesson is about living things. You have, oh, and look, you can tear out the pages as well. This is just, I love nice quality paper. So this fits everything that I want in the workbooks for my kids. So has activities with coloring and then a maze and then cross out the things that are not alive, color the things that are alive, draw some more things, and then you just give these tools and materials to your kids and um, tell them what to do. Well, usually you tell them what to do. This one requires the help of an adult. It's making a bug habitat, which is cute. And then, um, go on a walk and collect some living and non-living things and then project one done get your sticker that means you go to the back of the book and for each level they have math science and english language arts but you would put their science project sticker there and then at the end of the book you get to punch this out and there's a sticker a reward sticker here and you put it right there so anyway super cute um Lesson two is my body, and I think these are appropriate for a three or four year old. The cover of the book says four and five, but I think three and up could do it. I think my four year old could have done this last year. Here's um, for tinkering. Let's trace, trace someone's hand, make a game. These require more adult help than the others, but this is fine. Um, lesson three is animals, still lots of coloring and circling the mouth and a maze. This is make a snake family out of this. Um, what are they doing right here? Oh, look at your materials that you've gathered from nature and which could be found in an animal's habitat and sort them. Sort the items that could be found in an animal's habitat into a pile and what kind of animals might live around materials like these. That's really good. Then on the let's engineer, um, Amelia and Brian found a small rock that looks like an egg and they're pretending it might hatch. What pretend animal could be inside and how could they make a home for the egg? So use your materials up here to build a small nest. Which materials could make a soft place for an egg and which could help hold the nest together? And what would your pretend animal need once it hatches? So really cute activities to get your kids thinking. Next lesson is plants. And looks like you're going to do a tracing and paint here. Then the earth. Little poetry. Mm, this is ooh, construction paper fish. And make models of things a squirrel needs to live. These are good. These are really good activities. Then some tracing and letter awareness. Coloring, lots of stories. I like that each... Um, each lesson has slightly different things. Here is something that you do with red, orange, and yellow paint, but it would actually be pretty fun to do it with ketchup and mustard, wouldn't it? You put um, some saran wrap on top and smush it around. Coloring pictures. So this one, color the picture of weather that's rainy. 
I really like this. Um, circle the items for each weather that Mott Mott should wear or use. And then you use stickers to complete this page, the stickers that it's given you. Everything you need except the materials are right in here. More about seasons. Then water and ice. So liquid, ice cubes. <clears throat> Here you are squeezing, so you're making colored ice cubes out of paint and water and then painting with them and taking care of the earth so you draw the line <laughs> draw a line from the garbage to the trash bin cross out things that don't belong in the ocean but you can find some really cute youtubes to go along with all of these as well um then it talks about recycling with the help of a family member find some used paper you can recycle um right here fix things that are broken instead of throwing them away and reusing things instead of throwing them away this is a really good lesson for them as well um recycle crayons to make the muffin tin crayol crayolas that everyone loves five senses and you can draw your eyes color your eyes um this is about hearing touch smell taste I really do think these are, oh look, making bath paint. So I really do think these are super age appropriate and will get your kid thinking and moving and creating. My husband's an engineer and when he saw this book, he was like, yes, we've got to get it for her. She's going to love it. Um, this is comparing objects, same and different. Your four-year-old will be able to do this. I think that um, other than maybe some of the writing and smaller motor skills a, a three-year-old could do this they could totally understand it and paper cups building a tower here making objects move so this is push and pull push pull roll and drop push and pull painting with a pine cone and then making objects change so how you can drop how you can make things change, and then how animals can make things change. How can you make other things change? These are really good. I am super happy with this book, and my daughter is going to love it. Make banana oatmeal cookies. That's, I guess, making two things change, the banana and the oatmeals. Um, it has an answer key. Not that you will need it, but, you know, just in case. You could also have, I think that my third grader would love to play school and teach her younger sister with this and even do the projects with her. And then, like I said, you get back here. See, these are the stickers that you need for the activities mentioned. Um, you fill out your little science projects, and then you get the badge. And if you do the math and the language arts, you can do those on this page as well. Overall, I think this is really good. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but it wasn't that much at all. Um, it's 128 pages. There is something to do on every page and 15 little lessons, 15 weeks of fun science activities for your little preschooler or even kindergartner. This is great. If you have made it this far and you found this helpful in any way, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more curriculum reviews or just our life in general, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.